Hey, this is Carlos Cavallo from DatingAdviceGuru.com, your one-stop shop for great dating advice. Today, we're gonna to talk about five signs that he likes you for more than just a friend. Because when you're attracted to a guy, it makes, it makes it very difficult to relax into just being with him and just letting go of your wild emotional roller coaster if you're wondering whether or not the guy likes you, right? Most of the time, this is because you're just not quite sure if he's into you, which is why it's so scary at the start of any romance. And when you're feeling so uncertain about things, it's also very easy to get caught up in whether or not to be vulnerable with him. After all, you don't want to risk rejection if he's not into you, right? So let your good buddy, your best dating advice pal, Carlos, tell you about this. Signal number one that he likes you for more than just a friend is he's different around you. Well, one of the easiest signals to read is whether or not he seems to be treating you different than his other female friends. Now, of course, the best way to do this is to get around him and hang out with his female friends, which is actually pretty scary now that, now that I think about it. But you know what? You're putting yourself right in the thick of the jealous monster's lair. You just got to be able to hang on until you figure this thing out because it's the fastest way to figure it out. Some of the ways that a guy can be different with you are that he makes you more of a priority, he spends more time focused on you than on others, or he speaks to you in a different tone or different emotional state than the other women he knows. Ultimately, you just have to be able to trust your gut on this one. If your instincts are telling you that something is up or something's different, well, chances are they are, and you've probably got his interest. Remember, guys are unbelievably obvious when they're interested in a woman. If you're guessing he is, he probably is. More than friends, signal number two is his eyes give him away. Guys are notoriously bad about eye control, right? Yeah, we tend to stare sometimes, even to the point of being a little creepy. Yeah, we sometimes tend to stare, but what is it with guys in this anyways? Well, first off, guys are visual creatures, and this is probably not news to you. Men have heightened visual focus because, and here's the reason why, throughout the hundreds of thousands of years we were evolving, man's greatest survival skill was seeing and recognizing threats with our eyes. If that slight movement in the underbrush might mean a poisonous snake or a wild mountain lion, well, we had to see it ahead of time or <laughs> we didn't get to have little kids. Well, this visual ability also shows up in our search for a mate. Men could tell everything they initially needed to know about a woman by taking her in visually. Some of those visual mating cues are the luster and sheen of your hair, the whiteness and clarity of your eyes, the fullness of your hips and your breasts, your healthy complexion. All those things were fast signals to a man brain that you were healthy to bear children with him. Yes, a man's first concern is actually if he can have healthy kids with you, not just the sex. So as early as we can, we're going to look at you. We're going to drink you in with our eyes because if we're attracted to you, we got to know what we're getting into before we start actively courting you. And when a guy sees a woman that strikes his fancy, he's going to find it irresistible to look at you over and over again, taking in all the detail of your face and body. So if you catch him sneaking glances at you, chances are he's into you. All right, from friends into lovers, signal number three, that silver tongue devil. The fact is that most guys aren't the most elegant or subtle about their words they use when they dig you. He's probably going to give you some seriously obvious signals with his words. He'll show you with the things that he says that he's into you. Some of the things to look out for is when he talks about how much he likes how you look. Typically this is his way of saying he finds you physically desirable. He'll say something like, so maybe we should get together or something. What he's saying is he wants to take you on a date but he doesn't want to risk the rejection. Here's a big one. He'll turn Almost anything you say that's negative about yourself when you're putting yourself down, he'll turn it around and make it sound like something positive. And again, if you miss this, you're, if you're focused on this whole self-deprecating female thing, keep an ear out for the guy who doesn't agree with your mindset and your description of yourself. He's trying to make you feel his interest. Does he like me? Signal number four protective and jealous. Guys have a streak of possessiveness in them, just like women. We want to keep our investment safe. If a guy wants to invest his heart and time and energy in you, well, he wants to know that you don't already have a boyfriend or you're interested in another guy. Some of the things he might say are something like, so uh, what's your boyfriend think about this? This is clearly his way of finding out if you're in a relationship already. So do him a favor. Be clear with your answer. Don't dance with it. Let him know your status so that he gets a very clear Come on, man, bring it on, signal. So who's that guy that called you? Yeah, what he's really asking is, are you sleeping with him? Are you dating him? Do I have to worry about you picking him over me? 
just like when you ask him the same sort of thing. And does he really like me? Signal number five, closer, closer. Ultimately, he's going to want to feel you as close to him as he can possibly get you. It'll start out with occasional touches on the arm or on the back. He not only wants to satisfy his overpowering desire to sense you with his own skin, but he wants to establish some ownership over you. Now, I know, I know how that sounds. You think it's sexually objectifying maybe. Well, that's fine because everybody objectifies their love interest at the start. You'll find yourself doing it too. That's right. If you've ever looked at his butt and thought, huh, you are objectifying him. Now, I feel compelled to explain this to you because there's a lot of misinformation out there about what men are doing when they move in towards you physically. Just let that be a part of your natural sexual attraction that comes up. Yeah, he's going to start getting closer to you with his entire body. Usually it starts with his occasional touch and then the rest of him wants to get in on the action. He might brush up against you or really insert himself into your personal space. He'll be looking for any opportunity to actually come in contact with you. If a guy is doing this, it's almost assured that he likes you. Just remember that for a man, sexual desire is liking you in those early stages. It's part of his natural order. And look, there are many more signals than just these five big ones that I gave you. And I'll be giving you more, so stay tuned to this video set. But what do you do after you've established that he's interested in you? What can you do to ensure that your romance and relationship has the best possible chance to blossom? The best thing you can do is to not let fate take the reins. Cement yourself in place as his priority. You gotta know how to be his obsession. And it's easier than you think to trigger a man's obsession switch. If you wanna create a lasting connection and commitment with him, you have to know how to flip a man's obsession switch. I've got a really great short video presentation that explains how this obsession switch works in a man's mind. I'll bet you didn't know he had one, did you? Go on over and find out how you can control how he feels about you every step of the way. Go click the link you see below this video. And of course, make sure you do the big three. What do you gotta do? You gotta like this video, Make sure you leave me your comments and questions below. And of course, subscribe so that you keep getting all this good stuff. This is Carlos Cavallo from DatingAdviceGuru.com. Always live and love with passion.